guys, you got all the secrets from Brooklyn to, to give to these guys so you guys are ready to hit them right away? Or No, I know I'm pretty sure they changed up. You know, they got a great, great group of guys over there uh, with a great, great addition. So it's definitely going to be a, uh, a great task for us to go in there and try to uh, get a win. As you guys come out of this preseason with all the new faces and the changes that have been here, how ready do you feel to, to hit the ground running? Yeah, we're, we're, we're excited. We're excited more than anything uh, to showcase what we what we've been working on, uh, showcase our pace, uh, to be able to communicate with each other on the court. I mean, it's a different feel when you're out there uh, in the game, and we're excited to be uh, be able to do that uh, on Wednesday. You feel pretty comfortable? It seemed like you were taking the things pretty quickly out there. For yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's basketball. The only thing that is different about this is, obviously, you got to uh, figure out new new players and, new, and their tendencies. And, um, and that's been easy for me because we've been through We've been to the Bahamas and a lot of other stuff that a lot of players and a lot of teams don't do. So we've been able to do that and uh, been able to just, you know, be cohesive with each other and, you know, just transparent in everything we do. So it's, it's exciting, man. Last year you were part of the team that proved to be better than everybody thought it would be. Do you think this team's in a position to maybe do the same? Yeah, I mean, the thing I walk into every season is everyone starts 0-0. Just like when the ball, the ball game tips off, everyone starts 0-0. Yeah, everyone has a chance to be good. Granted, there are some great teams out there, but if you give me 110% effort every day, uh, you know, great things could come out of it. You know, sometimes the best team doesn't win that day. And uh, it's our job to go out there and just prove everybody uh, every single day, every single night out that uh, we got something to, to prove. You have something to prove to the Brooklyn front office that decided to, to move you? No, I'm never about that. I, I just want to win, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, they got a great group of guys over there, like I said, and uh, so do we. So. We just coming out here together and trying to figure out each other and trying to get a win tomorrow on Wednesday. Shabazz, Ryan has talked about how sometimes you do need to slow the offense down. And you can, he said you can pattern the offense a little more at times you slow down. Do you feel that as a point guard that sometimes you guys are going to need to slow down? The yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know, if we're so fast, fast paced that sometimes you, uh, you you don't understand that we just had three bad shots, uh, two turnovers. So sometimes you have to slow it down and throw it into your big guy uh, or get you know get one of your best players the ball. Um, so you have to realize that throughout the game, and you know, coach has been doing a great job. Jeff's team's been doing a great job with that as well. So it's something that we continue to work on, you know, each and every day. Is that oftentimes going to be on you and Jeff to be like, all right, this doesn't look good, we got to stop? Yeah, yeah, for sure, 100. Uh, percent But you know, coach does a great job to let us know as well. But 100 percent, it's on me and Jeff to, to figure that out, figure those times out, uh, and when we do, we got to figure out who we got to give the ball to at them in that particular moment. Do you like what you've seen from Jared in his like point guard situations where he's kind Jared of Culver. Yeah, Jared Yeah, I mean he's he's he knows how to play the game. You know, he knows how to play the game. Uh, and I think he's been doing a great job, you know, so far for us, especially on that point guard position. Uh, he's kind of a combo guard for us at the moment and you know he's obviously he's defensively he's one of the best. He's real he's real good for a rookie to be defensively, but offensively he's been trying to figure out who he is and you know it's been a great showing for us in the preseason. What does this team need from Carl this year to be successful? Call just to be Carl. That's it, man. I think uh, he's been doing a great job for us in the preseason, especially in practice. So, you know, we rely on him heavy, uh, especially uh, throwing it to the big man to make great decisions, and he's been doing that as well, too. So we just need him to be him, and then everybody else around him has to, you know, bring up their game. So uh, it's not necessarily just Carl. It's everybody as a unit, and we got to figure that out to help him out. What's Carl have to do? What can Carl do to help everybody, I guess, bring their game to the next level? Just keep being himself. You know, at the end of the day, when your leader is going out there giving 110 percent, diving for the ball and stuff like that, you look kind of, you look kind of silly not doing it. You know, he's uh, the guy on the, that we look at to, to lead us. So, if we're not able to, uh, you know, give the same energy he's given, uh, then it's a problem with us as a, as a, as a player. Uh, you know, because you know he's our, our star player. We have to go out there and, and do as much as he's doing. You know, uh, so we just got to go out there and go out, do our best.